TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 8th of June. We're looking at the Dow uh, down 81 points at 33,096. This is the pattern we've been looking at. I've drawn it in right here. It says Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. Have a strong leg to the upside. Then you have an oval body. And every time you think that it's going to break out to the upside, it doesn't. It comes back in. And every time you think it's going to break to the downside, it stays. But it has to be an oval. If it becomes a rectangle, that's something completely different. What we need to see is 33,273 for leg B to start. Still not good enough. It has to be a very strong move to the upside. Uh, that would begin the neck. And then there should be a beak that comes down back into the body. And then you're on your own. Uh, now, usually after the beak, there's a nice rally, but then you're on your own. Let's go to the S&P. Uh, so the Dow's come off its low uh, this morning, and it's 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 up in the higher range. Uh, we're looking at the S&P. Let me just get this back again. Yeah, S&P made a low of 41.30. It's trading right now at 41.49, uh, minus 11. It's still kind of weak, but he has the oval pattern as well. Uh, it's the same thing. I, I used to only apply to the Dow Jones um, over the years and the decades, actually. And then I started to use the same technique in other areas. We're looking at the S&P um, at 41.50. It really needs 41.78 to start a new leg, D to the upside. And in fact, D has to be, and because it's taken some time from PC, if it does get to that D, it needs to be a very powerful move. Day is young. I expect a choppy choppy. I'd say that I expected some kind of um, um, a lower high and a higher low, an inside day in most of the indices. We're looking at the QQQ. Now, this is going to be very interesting because the QQQ is showing some support up 75, uh, up 80 cents at 310.66. If the, if the Qs are able to get to the high today is 311.72. If it can hold 312.20, even for just a little while, there's a good chance that the 314.56 by tomorrow could be hit. Huh. We'll see. Days young. Key support is now at the 308 area. Uh, we're looking at the IWM. Oh, that was quick. I break is coming up. IWM, leg D, doing well, just down 58 cents. Gold, let's see where gold is. Uh, gold is just trading in a sideways range. The dollar actually had some strength, um, and it's given some of it back. But the, the USD... Why something to talk about that is spiraling to the upside leg B and crude oil? Let's see, crude oil. 